With no consequences, they lambasted the rulers of the day and social norms. They spoke here with passion and with vigour and made the most of the last moments of their lives. Okay. It is from this legacy that the culture of this corner, the culture of free speech, still somewhat extant today stems. When in 1866 the Reform League demanded the extension of the franchise to right the wrongs done by the oligarchical class of landowners, they were suppressed by the government. The park was locked to them. But did they take it? No! They tore up hundreds of yards of railing and they took this corner by force! They took it through their rights as Englishmen and such belligerence continued until 1872 when the government submitted and recognised this corner as a place for free public discourse. This recognition has meant much for Britain. This area has been populated by famous speakers, good and evil, from Orwell to Marx. Speakers' corners have popped up in Nottingham, Staffordshire and Sussex, Leeds and Newcastle, and it has echoed around the world. Speaker's Corners now exist in Australia, in Canada, in Indonesia, in Italy, in Malaysia, the Netherlands, New Zealand, Singapore, Trinidad and Tobago, Thailand and even the United States. They're not as good as this one though, are they? Yet now, this sacred ground is being despoiled. It is being tainted once more by the boot of tyranny. When I came here four weeks ago, I was violently thrown out of this park by Stasi thugs. When I came here three weeks ago, I was violently assaulted and falsely arrested by the same Stasi goons. This in a place where Abu Hamza spoke for a whole decade without interference. It is clear to me and I'm sure clear to many yes. that the Metropolitan Police yeah. is nothing, I repeat, nothing but a criminal organisation yeah. dedicated yeah. to stripping the oh, liberties man. of the English people and in exchange for what? Money! Their pay packets and pensions, they grow ever so fat off and they do grow fat, don't they? <laughs> Whilst others lose their jobs lose their businesses, lose everything that they built their lives upon. They live for it. They get a thrill off of it to rule by the baton. Yet they have no lawful right to do so. When the Metropolitan Police was first given its charter, it was under the principle that the police are the people and the people are the police. Some members of Parliament said, why not give them navy cutlers and Why not arm them with swords? And they were told, no! Army! They were given batons, helmets and whistles. And when they used to blow those whistles, people would come running to help. But today, would you come running to help one of these thugs? I know that I wouldn't. Now, despite the fact then, when you could walk around with a revolver in your pocket, when they were armed far less than us, when they used to wear suits, have you ever seen the miners' strikes? They fought the miners in suits. And now, they are armed with pepper spray, with tasers, with batons, all of these now things we're not allowed to have where once they were below us, where once they were held to a higher standard than the rest of us, where more was expected out of them than us. Now it is the other way around. Now we, the public, the peasants, are held to a higher standard than these criminals. Now we are the ones who are vulnerable and not them. Surely we should return to the way things were. So if they wish to fight us, they wish to attack us, we can go to them toe to toe on a level playing ground. Hey, hey. Hey. Go on,
It is clear the Metropolitan Police now are nothing but an illegal parliamentary standing army here to crush our freedoms and strip them from us. Some people say that we should not hold these criminals to account for their crimes. But I do not agree. Crime demands punishment. And where there are victims, and solely where there are victims, there are crimes. The people who serve in the Metropolitan Police today are not the average man off the street. They are a self-selecting group and they're the very worst scrapings of the barrel of our society. An organisation of psychopaths and sociopaths bent on violence to attack old ladies, to attack veterans on Remembrance Day and Remembrance Sunday. They couldn't leave it out, could they? They wanted the double. They smash journalists into the floor for filming their crimes. Whenever they attack someone, there's a ring. No one's going to attack them. We know what it's for, so you can't film past them. These are not human beings. These are cockroaches and should be treated like them. They are the very worst product of our battery farming so-called education system. Children who are bullied in class. The teachers' pets and class pedants. The prefect who only sought to abuse his position. Gone is all semblance of policing by consent and we all know it. That is why I say that we cannot accept simply a marginal return to some fraction of our liberties. We must demand justice and it must be justice on every single one of these criminal vermin. Just following orders is an excuse that leads to Holocaust, nothing less. So let us take their jobs. Let us take their pensions and let us take their freedom. Let them be locked up for their crimes of breaking every oath they ever swore and taking fistfuls of cash in receipts of it. Let us try them fairly before a jury for their crimes and lock them up. Only then can they understand what they have done wrong and only then may we have justice and live safely in the knowledge that this sacred ground, this other Eden, this demi-paradise, this speaker's corner of ours will be safe once more. Justice! Justice! Freedom! 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 Resistance GB on YouTube. Thank you. Hey, come here, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God! Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Come here, come here, come here, come here. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I have to thank this guy for lending me the bench as well. This guy over here, I've got to give him credit. Bro, bro, remind the family, what's your channel? What's your my channel. Shake your hand. Can you just shake of course you can shake my hand. Keep up the good work, yeah? Thank you very much. Keep up the good work. What's my channel, channel is you? Resistance GB on YouTube. I'm also on Twitter and I'm fighting for our freedom and I'm fighting to hold these criminals to account. Because so long as there are no consequences for their actions, they'll carry on doing them with impunity. Only when they are held to account for their crimes Will the next generation of police think, oh, maybe I shouldn't do that because something will happen to me? Right. Thank well you. Done. Thank you. Where, where